What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike. And I've been wanting to do a tutorial on how to use the, uh, the TC Helicon Voice Live Play with with a mixer. and a cell phone smartphone to um to get your sound crisp and clean and to do a live stream so i'm gonna start let's start with what things sound like that you heard at the beginning of this stream if you're just using some sort of sound source to push your sound, uh, but you're using your cell phone microphone to pick it up. It sounds something like this. Now my voice is coming through an actual microphone, Sennheiser E835. And running into the mixer and then it is running into the cell phone that I am holding right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to walk you through the steps of how I got my voice to sound um, the way it is as far as coming through the TC Helicon then into my cell phone and then also how to add the music so you have um, let's say you got a, a mixer here you can have on channels one and two you can have your uh, your wet vocals on one, dry vocals on two, and your music on music on three. So we got the wet, um, the dry, and then music. I should probably update my labels. And then when we're done, I'll put it all together and, and do a preview of Roller Skate Funk. So I'll be going a little bit slowly, taking some sips of water. I just want to take my time and show you how I set this up. All right, so obviously your big two things you're gonna have are your TC Helicon Voice Live Play or something similar. You don't have to have this, but it helps. Right now you see that blinking light, that means I am on uh, talk mode. So um, maybe I'll show you that later on. Okay. So we got the Helicon, TC Helicon Voice Live Play, and then we got the mixer. This happens to be a Harbinger or Harbinger L802. It's about 60 bucks at Guitar Center. So we've got the headphones coming out. That's going to my headphones so I can actually hear what's what's cracker racking. And then we got the main <coughs> main out. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, and then we got channel 3, 4, that's where the music's going to be going. And then we got our mic 1 and 2. So again, right now, um, mic 1 and 2 are connected to the TC Helicon. Um, let's start with how we got the mic set up here. The, uh, the mic goes into the mic in. Augs, if you want to push tracks, um, you would want to be in uh, dual mono for that. The left side would be uh, sending your affected voice. Right side would be sending this AUG signal. You can see that. All right. Then we got the pedal. We'll talk about that later. And then we have the left and right. So I'm running in mono. And in mono mode, your left is your affected signal. So if you got auto tune or whatever you want, um, that, that's, that's going to be on the left channel. If you uh, want to mix in the dry signal, which I think it's great to have, I would suggest always, well, depending on what you're trying to do, but if you're a live performer, um, a great setup that's worked for me in the past is using left for my affected and then right for the dry. That way you're, whoever's doing the mixing can mix in the dry with um, whatever is being affected and it just helps fill out the sound, in my opinion. Uh, also, while I'm talking about this, I am not a licensed professional as it relates to sound engineering uh, or audio technology for that matter. So I encourage you to please 
verify everything that you're seeing and hearing. And if you find something different, let me know so that I can update my message. That'd be awesome. Okay, so now we got left and right coming out of the TC Helicon. And we run those in. Oh, before we do that, <clears throat> as soon as you plug your mic in to the TC Helicon, do some testing and make sure you get your gain set right. Right now, mine is um, probably down a little bit because I have it set for for singing versus talking. But uh, make sure you're not clipping on here, but make sure you're getting some nice gain for whatever you're going to be doing. Okay, so that's your first level of gain staging. Second level's coming up. So now you're going to plug left and right into your mixer, or just left, whichever. If you got two slots, go for it. And then you're going to adjust your gain on your left and right side coming out of the TC Helicon. Great. And then you're going to um, make a connection, or excuse me, you're going to get a cable. On one end, you're going to have uh, two TS plugs that look like this. And then from the uh, the two TS ends, you're going to most likely have, this is going to be like a Y adapter, and it's going to be a female that's going to accept uh, either a quarter inch or three and a half inch, or three and a half millimeter. Looks like this. So then... This is a um, TRS end, so it's got the two black rings. And then that comes to this. So this is that cable. On one end is a quarter inch TRS. The other end is um, three and a half millimeter or eighth inch standard stereo headphone jack on the other end. Um, so yeah, just got to make sure that whatever you got, it connects, it has to have this three and a half millimeter if you're going to use your, uh, if you're going to use a cell phone to push your sound, to push your music rather. And that's going to plug in there. We'll plug this in into here and then those two into channel three and four. So give me a second to hook it back up. Don't worry, it's only temporary. to go ahead and get that part set up so we can at least get the music piece out of the way <clears throat> so now we've got we've got our um, our mics coming in and we got our tracks coming in so channel one affected vocal channel two dry vocal channel three four background music now this is great. We've got all this coming in. Um, you can create your mix, you know, change that background music to your liking. Change, you know, just make it sound good to you and your headphones. Okay. Um, now we've got the quantum leap, I like to call it, where we want to leap from uh, the sound that's coming in to the harbinger. Harbinger. What's the per correct pronunciation? I have to look up a commercial or something. But we got the main outs, okay? So let's let's talk about these main outs. The 
these are line level signals. A line level signal is super duper loud. Line level is super, super, super duper loud and, or hot, whatever you want to call it. It's got lots of dBs cooking. And even if you could send that, um, you know, directly from here into your cell phone with nothing in between, it'll be really loud. So if you want to know more about why that is and how that happens, just let me know. Reach out to me and we can talk about it in detail. But for now, understand that you want to convert this mic or excuse me, convert this line level signal into a mic level signal so that it works nicely with your cell phone. <clears throat> so I have everything running into my cell phone right now, but I have a, you know, an old a decommissioned cell phone that I'm going to use as an example. <clears throat> One second, I get some water. That's way better. All right, so now <clears throat> we're going to run. <clears throat> Hold on. I got lots of wires. Okay, so we take the uh, <clears throat> the main outs left and right, and you're gonna. In my example, I've got two DI boxes. So we have a left and a right, and so. In the N, we have the the uh, the left side of the mixer signal, line signal coming in, and then we have another TS cable coming out. One sec, I'll show you. Actually, no, I'm not going to show you because I don't want to disrupt the signal. It would be very bad for your ears. I mean, I'm actually using these right now to uh, to send this signal to you. So you gotta trust me. Uh, each one of these are quarter inch with a single ring. I have done this with uh, TRS, where it has the two black rings, and it seems to still work. So one goes in, and another goes in here to the right side. I like to keep my red on the right, easy to remember. And then we go out from each one of these. So they have an in and an out, and we go out, and then we follow that all the way to another Y adapter. If you can see that here. So there's the Y adapter again, female quarter inches to accept those male quarter inches, and then that terminates down into a single. Now this is not the same one I'm using, but a demonstration one. <clears throat> terminates into ah you get the idea stop I got the mic in one hand and I got yeah this is here we go okay and that's gonna plug into your phone but wait you can't do that just yet you have to have something that goes in between this and your phone but before we get to that, let me back up here. <clears throat> this step right here, these DI boxes, this is what is making that conversion from a super duper hot, hot line level signal into a more manageable mic level signal for your microphone or for the microphone on your, uh, on your smartphone. Now, before we just go and plug that signal into your smartphone, we have to trick it a little bit. So here's how we trick it. You're going to get a an adapter. Let me 
me show you the other end because that's important. One sec. So if you saw that, <clears throat> you know it had three rings. That's a tip ring ring sleeve adapter. And you need that to trick your cell phone into using its internal microphone for whatever you're about to do. So if you're about to go live on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, if you're about to go live and you want to use your mixer to push all of your audio or whatever, whatever you want, um, or you, and you want your internal microphone to pick it up, so that people can hear it, then you need to trick your phone into that mode, if you will. And so plugging this in will do that, but you have to do it before you do anything else, like plugging in that uh, mic level signal that you created into your smartphone. So we, put, so we plug that in, and now we're ready to take the mic level signal that we got This is just simulating that. And then you plug that in all the way. I'm not going to do it right now, but it's only got one hand working right now. But you're going to go ahead and push that in all the way. And when you do, you're going to get a little pop-up, most likely, on your phone saying, you know, it might ask you what voice assistant you want to use, et cetera, et cetera. But that's sort of your, your indicator that it is now going to be using an internal microphone. So, once you've got that cooking, then you should be good to go. Go ahead and fire up your live, and hopefully you got someone who can uh, monitor it to let you know that you're actually getting sound, or you can just fire up another computer and watch your own live just to make sure that the sound's coming through and then shut it down, shut it off so you don't get feedback. And then you should be good to go. So if you give me just a second, I'm going to mount this particular phone, and then I'm going to do a little uh, rendition of Roller Skate Funk that's coming out this summer. Thanks for watching, y'all. So don't go anywhere. Just give me a second to mount this actual phone.
check, check. There you go that's my long drawn out example of how to get sound from your microphone via the tc helicon into your mixer from your mixer into a device that will attenuate the signal and turn it into a mic level signal and then trick your cell phone into using its internal speaker so you can grab that signal and then produce some super cool live streams and podcasts. So this has been Carolina Mike saying thanks for watching this tutorial. Thanks for listening to the music. There is a link for carolinamike.com. Please visit. Let me know what you think. And stay safe. Be well. Thanks for watching.